The sliders in piece are there for equalizing your music and other sounds of your computer. With a slider you influence the gain of the sound for the frequency as entered above the slider. This is all explained in tutorial 3. This tutorial tells you how to do some additional things with sliders. Things like setting the background color of each individual slider, or moving a slider and all its parts horizontally to position it properly on your equalizer. Using a different background color for each slider is a good way to distinguish between sliders. For instance you can give your main bar slider another color for easy reference. Any color can be chosen, and in case of using graphical sliders the slider thumbs can also be colored. Graphical sliders look more like the ones on the hardware equalizer, and they can be set on the appearance window in the piece settings as explained in tutorial 10. But by default piece uses sliders provided by windows. Through coloring your equalizer can look nice too, like this vaporwave example shows. And if you need to better remind what the slider is about, you can also label it. Your label will appear when you hover with the mouse point above the slider. Three separate labels can be given. One for the gain, the slider itself. One for the frequency, the field at the top. And one for the quality value, the field below. By the way, this value determines the frequency bandwidth of the slider. Examples of labels are low bass, mids, treble, and so on. To color or label a slider, Hold the Ctrl key down while right clicking on it with the mouse. Then the slider options window will appear. After changing the gain of a slider, it gets automatically selected. Now it can be moved horizontally by the arrow buttons. These buttons are located at the lower right of the slider's part. Moving a slider is especially useful after adding it. As it's added at the right, that is usually not where you want it. The most logical order is by frequency values. Speaking about this, you might want to delete a slider with an unused frequency. Deleting is done by changing its gain, moving it to the last position at the right, then clicking the minus button to remove it. The plus button for adding and the minus button for deleting are located at the right of the sliders part.